I don't care what kind of headlights you have, projector or reflector, car or truck, if you replace your original halogen headlight with an LED bulb, chances are you're blinding everybody else on the road and you still can't see as good as you wish you could. In this video, we're gonna talk about how to aim your headlights with LED headlight bulbs and why some work better than others. If you know anything about our channel already, you know that we do lighting better because we test. We test a lot. I'm not saying I don't like LED headlight bulbs. I'm saying most of them don't work right. Go check out our other videos where we explain why. But what you need to know is that for an LED headlight bulb to work correctly in your vehicle, you need a certain type of design. You gotta have a certain type of LED chip and a certain type of width and placement inside the headlight. It also needs to be adjusted to the right spot. There's a lot of things that go into which LED headlight bulb is gonna work for your vehicle. They are not one size fits all. If you replace your halogen bulb with the type that makes a weird beam pattern, you're never gonna be able to aim your headlights. So first, let me show you what a bad beam pattern looks like and why it will never actually work regardless of how much you aim it. You see in this example, now our beam pattern is blown all out of proportion. Look at how tall it is and look at where the top of the beam is. If you take the brightest portion of this beam pattern and put it where you need it on the road, look how high up it goes. It blinds everybody else. That's why bulbs that make this kind of beam pattern don't work. Imagine this is your vehicle driving on any road with your original halogen headlights. You can see that there's a distinct cutoff line and near the center at the top of the beam, you have the brightest portion. That's what we call the hot spot. The headlights are designed to have the hot spot near the top of the beam so that the beam can be aimed underneath oncoming driver's point of view. Now let's take the halogen bulb out and put in an LED bulb that works really well, like the GTR Lighting Ultra 2. Go watch our other videos if you want to see why this one works better than others, but the reality is it does. With this headlight bulb, you can see that the beam pattern is real similar to the original halogen, and that's really important. We've got the same cutoff line, we've got the same hot spot near the top center, and look at that. You can actually adjust it correctly so that it's giving you maximum brightness without blinding the eyes of the other drivers on the road. On our videos, we get comments every day about people complaining about how blinding and bright LED headlights are, and then other people chiming in saying, as long as you have them aimed correctly, it's fine. And the reality is that's only half the story. You still have to get the right bulbs to begin with. So let's talk about what it actually takes to aim your headlights after you've chosen the correct bulbs. Two things you're gonna be finding on your headlight itself. First thing you're gonna do is pull your vehicle up to the wall about three feet away. So you've got some space between your front bumper and the wall itself. You're gonna wanna make sure that if one person is normally driving your vehicle, you wanna have somebody sitting in the driver's seat while you're doing the aiming. If you normally have a vehicle with a lot of construction equipment or other types of equipment or anything that might weigh down the vehicle, you're gonna to wanna to simulate that for this also. The last thing you wanna do is change the weight of what you're carrying in your vehicle and then aim your headlights. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you've got about half a tank of gas to get to that average level, and you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your tires are aired up correctly. Any of these things can throw off the alignment when you're doing this work yourself. Once you have your vehicle squared up to the wall, three feet away, identify the center of the vehicle and do a vertical piece of painter's tape or something to indicate the center. Then identify the center of each headlight and do another vertical piece of tape on either side. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that the distance between the center and your headlight marking is the same on the wall. You can identify the center of your headlight by that little dimple that's in the plastic. Now take a tape measure and measure from the ground up to the height of the center of your headlight. The height of this dimple on your headlight from the ground up. Measure that same distance up to the tape on the wall and make a mark on your piece of tape. That should identify exactly the center of your headlight on the wall. Do that for both sides and then measure down two inches on the wall and make another mark. Now between those two marks that measure the center of your headlight and a two inch drop, put a horizontal piece of tape on the wall to give yourself a cross section where to aim. The bottom of this horizontal measurement at that two inch mark should be where the top of your beam pattern sits 
when you're 25 feet away. Now that you have all your markings correct on the wall, go ahead and pull the vehicle back 25 feet and then we'll look at the aiming. Now 25 feet is a generic rule of thumb for any vehicle, however some manufacturers specify different distances that may be closer or farther away. So before doing this yourself, check your owner's manual to make sure you're doing it right. Now that you have your vehicle 25 feet away from the wall, it's time to use some type of a screwdriver or other tool to actually align the headlights up and down. All headlights have different alignment adjusters. They all pretty much act the same way, but sometimes they can be a little bit different. Most of the time, you're going to see something that needs a Phillips screwdriver. You open the hood, you look down, and you find where the headlight adjustment section is on your headlight. Then you're going to be able to see, is it a socket, do you need a Torx bit, or will a Phillips screwdriver do the trick? On this F-150, you can see an enclosed assembly with a little tube on top. You put the screwdriver in there, from the top in your engine bay, and when you turn it, either clockwise or counterclockwise, you're going to move the mechanism inside the headlight that actually takes the projector or the reflector and moves it up and down. On the back of this Dodge headlight, we have a similar thing, but it's not sticking out the top. As you can see, it's way down here near the middle of the headlight, but luckily they made it really easy for us with a guide that goes into that same gear drive. On this Ram headlight, it's the same mechanism, but you don't use a Phillips screwdriver. In this case, you can either use a socket or a Torx driver. Now take a look at where your headlights are aimed. The top of your headlight, the cutoff line, right where the brightest part of the beam is, should not be going over that two inch drop mark. As you can see here, we've got one that's obviously higher than the other, so we wanna bring them both down to hit that spot. The idea here is, the farther you go away from something, the bigger your beam pattern is. So we want a two inch drop over 25 feet, which communicates to a much larger drop further in front of the vehicle for normal highway driving. When you're driving, I like to make sure that my headlights are just barely bouncing off the bottom of different street signs. To me, this is a good indicator that they're not gonna be getting in anybody's eyes, and it lines up with the step-by-step -step instructions we just went through. If you're driving around and all the street signs are constantly lit up, or you can see the back of somebody's head in the vehicle in front of you, or you see somebody adjusting their mirrors because you're blinding them, those are examples of either a poorly aligned headlight or you're just using the wrong LED headlight bulbs. What you just learned from this video can be applied to any vehicle with any light bulb product out there. It doesn't matter what brand it is or if it's LED or HID or halogen. It's all the same. At the end of the day, you want a beam pattern that looks like the original halogen, that's brighter, hopefully, and you aim them correctly so you're not blinding people. It's really that simple. If you want to learn more about which LED headlight bulbs or HIDs or halogen are best suited for your vehicle, go check out the other videos on our channel. And of course, subscribe if you wanna learn more about how to do lighting better.